Hey there, and welcome back to Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition. Uh, this went on. First, I should discuss what happened the last episode. Last episode, we made some infrastructure. For instance, I built this storage system that looks like a massive chest. I also changed my skin. I wasn't actually going to say that, but since I went to third person, I just thought I'd point it out. And I made this bridge, too, that connects to the mainland. And I also lit up the area a little bit. Like, there are two torches there on the, the bridge, and also on the other side, too. And so, yeah, I just did a little bit of building, you know. Um, but this episode, I want to create a spider spawner. So, over here, this pillar, um, it leads to a staircase which goes down to a spider spawner. Um, so I want to get this thing functional. I want to turn it into a full-on farm. And I also want to pretty up the entrance because it's just, you know, a hole on the hillside. And so I want to pretty up the entrance, uh, you know, make it look a lot better. And so that is what I'm going to be doing this episode. So yeah, let's get to it. I'm going to build it out of standard cobblestone. Yeah, call me boring. I like it, honestly. It just gives it such a rugged look. I have an idea for something that I want to do in the future. I'm not going to do it this episode, but I want to build a spawner out of iron bars up there in place of the pillar. The pillar, that's just a temporary thing. I want there to be like a, a sort of spider spawner that I've built. I think I have enough iron to do it now, but I just wouldn't want to use my iron for that. Not right now. This entrance looked better in my head, but it's at least functional right now. And, uh, you know, now I gotta work on the actual, uh, the grinder part. Alright, here's the spawner. Um, so, I have a general idea of how to make one. I've made one for, a uh, spider and zombie spawners, but never for a spider spawner. So, it's gonna be a bit of a, it's gonna be a bit unique. Alright, so I've cleared out the bottom area, except for this one block so I can easily get in and out. Now, uh, that's where my knowledge about creating one of these en- Whoa, hi. That's where my knowledge about creating one of these ends, uh, for spiders. So I will consult a YouTube video. Alright, I have watched a little bit of a YouTube video, and apparently it's kind of similar to, uh, creating one for the other mobs. So it's not actually all that different, thankfully. Uh, at least so far. You put the water in the same spots. Alright, so next in the guide, he uh, mines out these blocks here. Uh, the ones that do not have any water on them. And then he mines the blocks underneath the water. And so it kind of flows into this little uh, crevasse. And so in this video now, he clears out a 3 by 3 by 3 area right here. I'm not sure if they would be able to get through here, so the design shows trap doors here and here, just in the center, and it shows slabs here, so those are the differences. Now, I hope this will work, but I just, I don't know, I can't be certain. Well, here it is, and it appears to be working well. Uh, so there's three spiders on the current I don't think they can get through. And if I ever want the drops, I can get through. So... Oh, and sometimes they take fall damage like that, so that's convenient. Hey, so I stopped recording, and I started editing, and I noticed that my voice was incredibly quiet. It just was not a pleasant viewing experience. And so, here's what I decided to do to fix that. I edited down the video shorter than I normally would have, uh, so just the really important bits, uh, that's all I kept in there. Uh, so I edited it down a lot more, and I decided to record more, um, because honestly just doing a spider grinder isn't much of an episode on its own. And so yeah, to fix the, uh, to counteract the really poor audio, I have decided to record more. So consider this a sort of second intro. Uh, now I want to work on filling out the map, so I only have a little bit of it filled out. It's a decent chunk, but, you know, there's a lot left, so that's what I want to do. Alright, so here I am at the corner of the world. I've filled out entire maps like this before. What I plan to do is, um, 
I like to sort of complete it like a jigsaw puzzle. So I start from the corners. I get the sides first and uh, work my way inwards. If I'm being honest, I actually really, really enjoy the limited world sizes of the uh, Xbox 360 edition. I just, I don't know, I think it makes it really fun. It makes it really cozy, that's for sure. Oh, you know what would make this faster? If I used a boat. Uh, right now I'm in an icy area, so it wouldn't really do much. But I think it would be better once I get out of it. And would you look at that? There's another weird village well that doesn't have a village. That, honestly, just why? That's the second one I've seen in this world. Hmm. Alright, and that's this area almost done. There's just a few pixels there. Yeah, and there we go. So got that area done. So now there's a great big uh, chunk of the map filled in. In fact, I'd say a majority of it is filled in now. Looks like there's a big ocean here. So that will make a... Oh, and a mushroom island over there. So that'll make uh, exploring this area fairly easy. Oh, and would you look at that? There's a village over here. I uh, wonder if there's libraries. That's about the best thing there is. So... Well, I guess there's also blacksmiths. So I guess I'll spend the night here at the village and I can finish up the map. How lovely, some mysterious man just shows up, sleeps in your house, or tries to. Yeah, some random man shows up, sleeps in your house, and loots your village, and then walks away without saying a word. Jeez, imagine how terrified these villagers must be. Yes, that's what I've been looking for, library. Right, so what I'm going to do, there's some empty space here, which I am walking towards right now. I'm going to clear that. I'm going to fill it out completely. And then there's some more empty space on the uh, the bottom left corner. There, you can see it now. Then I'll, I'll get that after this. Over there, uh, those are the two villages that I found last episode when I went to get the spruce wood for the storage system. And... Done. I know, it's like... Okay, yeah, done. Whew, here we go. That actually did not take nearly as long as I expected. Um, so that's the entire map, I guess. Holy cow, I just have... I know it's getting close to nighttime, and my house is just over there, but that is a crazy mountain. I might have to make a base there someday. Here we are, and I just see that there's stone. Anyways, here we are back at home. So I was very productive this episode. I got a good spider grinder, great XP farm, and I filled out the entire map. I wasn't expecting to fill out the entire map in one episode, but I did. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.